I think Pella is one of the most underrated characters in Honkai Star Rail, and I'm really excited because I'm finally starting to build her on my account. And so today in this video, I want to talk about the build I'm going to be planning to use on my Pella. So to start with a little overview of the build, this build I think is very unique compared to when you're building other characters because for other characters a lot of the time you're just going to be building for their element if it's like a damage dealer and then if they're like a support or a healer you'll run like the HP set or the you know, speed set. I know the speed set is very good on a lot of you know harmony supports and whatnot now. But for Pella it's not as straightforward because the ice set for Pella it really just gives her crit damage and you know ice damage. Which, you know, if you're trying to build a DPS Pella, sure. But for Pella, with her being, you know, more so like a debuffer and then, you know, wanting to use her skill to be able to remove buffs from the enemies, Pella is actually going to work really well with the four piece wind set. And this is going to sound crazy at first, but you got to let me cook for a second, right? So the two piece bonus for the wind set doesn't help Pella at all because it just gives extra wind damage. And Pella, it being an ice character, is not going to benefit from that. But when we get to the four piece bonus, that's where it's really going to benefit Pella. Because with the four piece bonus on the win set, every time Pella ults, her action advances by 25%. And this could be really good, you know, especially if you have proper speed built into her and everything. Because if you advance your action, there will be times where you're able to attack again right after ult using your ult or attack soon after after using your ultimate and that'll allow you to also have that opportunity to both build your energy back up whether you're using her basic attack or her skill or you know if the enemy has a buff on them you can use your, your skill immediately after your ult you know, if you have the right speed and you'll be able to get rid of that buff on the enemy which is going to be super beneficial because, you know, it's just going to make Pella be able to act more and get more energy. And, you know, if she's able to do more actions to get more energy, she's going to get more ultimate. So having this four piece win bonus is going to be really good for her. And it's going to do way more than having that ice bonus or just like the speed set. So now for my plans for Pella. And I do want to make a follow up video for this as well once I actually do have my Pella built. And Pella is a character I've been very excited to build for a long time. I just had to, you know, patch some other holes in my account in terms of character builds for Relics, but I'm finally glad to start getting Relics for Pella. But yeah, in terms of, you know, substats and everything, I'm mainly going to be focusing on effect hit rate for her, you know, for her debuffing for defense. I'm going to be focusing on her effect res and her speed subsets mainly. And, you know, the reason for effect res is because I'm going to be also farming the broken keel set for planar ornaments and that's going to be really huge for her as well to be able to yeah broken keel is definitely going to be really good because it's going to give uh, the entire team some extra crit damage so pairing that with you know your dps characters is going to be really nice and overall just from my testing with this Pella build I definitely was very impressed I haven't, you know, I don't have my Pella anywhere near built for this set right now on my account at least, but I did test it with a friend support. That's the, you know, the footage that you're seeing in the video. And honestly, it was, you know, pretty solid. Like sure the friend was E6. I don't have an E6 Pella. I'll see if I can pick up any Pella copies on the uh, Fushuan banner. But for now, I just want to make this quick video to talk about this build because, you know, for people who are, you know, kind of throwing Pella under the radar, she is still an amazing Nihility unit, very good for having AoE defense shred and just being just a very solid uh, debuffer and just like support for the team overall. So yeah, definitely let me know in the comments what you think about not just Pella, but this build as well. I know it does sound a little weird if you're just thinking about the game, you know, at, at like a more like casual level, but I think this build is going to be really solid. But with that, everyone, I want to thank you all for watching. If you enjoyed, definitely be sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell. And I will see you all next time.